Good afternoon, everyone. Dave Payerton with Columbus Turnkey, and we are talking all about how to avoid paying taxes when you're selling a property. And we are here with 1031 Exchange expert, Mr. Greg Smith with IPX. And Greg, today you're going to kind of tell us, give us an overview. What is a 1031 Exchange? Where did this all come from? And really, let's start there. Sure. So Section 1031 comes from the Internal Revenue Code, Section 1031. And the very basic idea is that when you sell your property, if you don't want to pay all those taxes we talked about in the previous episode, and instead you want to roll 100% of your money into new property. Mm -hmm. You could, for example, sell your property in California and go buy three properties in Ohio. And so what the IRS is looking for, did you not pocket any of the cash? So whatever cash came out of your sale, you've reinvested that. And they also look at the debt that you paid off. So if you paid Bank of America 140,000 at your closing of the California property, you want to get a new loan of 140,000 or more on your new Ohio properties. So you're offsetting both the cash and the debt. So the IRS doesn't see you pocketing anything and then you can defer 100% of all the state and federal taxes. So it's a beautiful thing. It's basically the idea that you're not gonna keep your money, you're gonna roll it in new property, and then the government is nice enough not to tax you on your sale. So let's pretend somebody in California, they sell a property, and the property values are much higher in a place like California. Um, would they be able to buy numerous properties? Would that be qualified? Absolutely. So, so it's all about the dollar amounts. It's not about the number of properties. Okay. So if you sold a million dollar property in, in California and you want to buy 10 $100,000 properties in Ohio, Correct. that works beautifully. A lot of our clients do that. They live in a place like California or any other state. It doesn't matter where you live. And they want to buy cash flow properties here in Columbus. And that's exactly what we provide as properties that are fully fixed up and rented out and we provide property management as well. So would a 1031 exchange be a good option for somebody who is looking to buy investment properties in Ohio? In those cases, it's almost a no brainer. If you're looking to reinvest back into real estate, it's a shame if you don't use 1031, you're just paying taxes you don't otherwise have to pay. Correct. This is set up for that exact situation. You wanna take advantage of this and use 1031. Perfect. So thank you very much. And on our next video, we're gonna be getting into the nuts and bolts on exactly how you can do this and what this process looks like. I'm Dave Perichin with Columbus Turnkey, and we'll see you on the next video.